This is the story of Feli Katembo, a 13-year-old girl in the Democratic Republic of Congo. There's been an outbreak of typhoid where she lives, about two days' drive from Kinshasa, the capital of this vast nation in the heart of Africa. Feli has contracted the disease and is now desperately ill. We don't know exactly how she got it, but typhoid can be transmitted through food or water. Many villages where she lives don't have proper toilets. Human waste gets washed into the rivers where people bathe and collect drinking water. Local people don't have an alternative to this water and to the naked eye it looks crystal clear, anything but deadly. Médecins Sans Frontières has responded to the emergency by setting up camp in the village of Mukedi. MSF has several other emergencies to deal with across this enormous country, about 10 times the size of Britain. There have, for example, been huge outbreaks of measles and yellow fever. MSF has conducted massive vaccination campaigns. From the camp, MSF organizes mobile clinics to the surrounding areas to test for typhoid. At the local hospital, it has put up tents to expand the facilities. This tent will be used as a ward. Patients are separated according to the gravity of their condition. Here at the hospital, an MSF community teacher is using pictures and songs to tell people about typhoid and to drill home simple messages about how to avoid infection. <laughs> MSF has dispatched 30 doctors, nurses and support staff to deal with the outbreak. Infrastructure is poor, electricity sporadic and water unsafe. This ward is basic, but it's better than anything for hundreds of miles around. MSF treats typhoid patients with antibiotics. Most respond and recover. Some patients don't have typhoid at all. They may have malaria. One boy has meningitis. In the very worst cases of typhoid, where the disease has eaten away at the intestines, doctors will operate. In this theater, here being used to perform an appendix removal, Operations are conducted to remove part of the intestines. Risk of infection is high, but if the operation goes well, normal bowel function is restored. The staff are mainly Congolese, but there are a few foreign specialists, including a surgeon from Belgium, Dr. Martine Enor. She has been volunteering for MSF for 25 years. She's worked in Rwanda, Sierra Leone, South Sudan, and many other conflict zones. Dr. Martine, as everyone calls her, is the chief surgeon here at the moment. She operated on Mavi Kubitaka, a 17-year-old boy who had a botched operation in his local village. When Mavi was found by MSF, his wounds were badly infected. Without another operation, he would have died. MSF explained to Mavi's father that it had experts who knew about typhoid. He had already spent all his money trying to keep his son alive. MSF treated Mavi for free. After two operations, he's on the mend. This is a Congolese state hospital. In Congo, there's very little state provision of healthcare. If you don't have money, 
there's not much doctors can do for you. Some doctors said they weren't paid at all. They earned only what patients could give them. Back on the road, Feli is heading to Mukedi. After she contracted typhoid, she also had an operation, like Mavi. Like him, she is badly infected. MSF drove four hours from Makedi to Gungu to collect Feli. She was no longer being treated because her parents had run out of cash. Nurses hooked her up to a drip and tried to feed her, but she will need a second operation. MSF needs to get her to the hospital quickly if she is to survive. The road is bumpy, so the vehicle must travel slowly. Feli is in great pain. After a few hours, the news comes through on the radio. Something about the patient Feli. The radio cuts out. Then the message comes back, all too clear. Feli has died. MSF arrived too late. As soon as Feli and her family arrives at the MSF hospital, her mother insists her daughter's body be taken back to the village. Feli must spend her first night in the afterlife at home. Back in the hospital, the business of saving lives goes on. This woman's daughter has survived typhoid thanks to Dr. Martin's help. She's going home today. MSF has seen more than 5,000 patients and treated 1,700 for typhoid. Worldwide, it attended to more than 8 million patients in 60 countries last year. In Congo, this epidemic is coming under control. In a few weeks, MSF staff will leave. Life will return to its natural rhythms, with victories and disappointments and laughter and music. But there will be other emergencies and other people like Mavi and Feli to save. Oh, my God.